I first went to Rainbow Alley as sort of a youth patron, I guess, um, when I was, I think, like 15 or 16. I um, can't remember. And I went with a friend of mine, and we both kind of heard about it. I was kind of in an interesting space and in trying to figure out my identity and where I was and that kind of thing, and um, just kind of found my way there. And was involved for for quite a while, and then ended up being a being a staff member there for um, a while as well. I think, you know, working there, it, it was really a day to day thing. One day you could be running, you know, the sex at, sex at six program, and then the next day you're, you know, sitting down with someone and, and talking about what's going on in their life, and really anything that's needed, I guess. I think. The biggest thing is how important it is to create a space like Rainbow Alley to just create sort of this welcoming, accepting environment where youth can go and figure themselves out and and not feel the pressure to do so, I think. I think that's one of the greatest things about it is it's just, you know, everyone exists in that space in however way they want to and they engage, I think, in much more honest ways than they can in their sort of regular life. I think it was a great thing for me, and I, I saw a lot of you know my friends and and people that showed up there that it really uh, made a huge difference in terms of giving them confidence um, and sort of establishing this this greater sense of self worth. I'm obviously honored. <laughs> um, you know, I don't, and, and this is just in general. Like, I don't ever do any of the work I do. To be recognized, I do it because it needs to be done, and I think there's always room for more people to do more things. And um, you know, Rainbow Alley was a, a very significant part, I think, of of those couple of years where I was here. And um, it's it's kind of great for me to revisit that a little bit and and go back to that and remember how much it actually did um, impact me. I think it's it's just an important thing to have, and I think Denver's really lucky to to have a space like Rainbow Alley where, where youth can come to. And I think not, not only where youth can come to, but where families can get advice on, you know, their child is coming out and there's, you know, great people around that can talk to them and, and make them feel comfortable and, and give them the ability to support their children in whatever they would, way they need to and can. Um, I just think it's a great resource to have. Um, like I said, we're lucky to have it. I've been to a lot of states and a lot of cities where Programs like this don't exist, and I think it's uh, really detrimental to the community there. Mm -hmm.